I'll be showing eight new features in PowerPoint. This includes a much improved teleprompter view for recording, PowerPoint for the web updates, iPad, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is improvements to PowerPoint Teleprompter. Teleprompter allows you to record a video and then have a teleprompter run so you can read your notes if necessary. Down at the bottom on this slide, I have a set of notes that you can see. And I'm gonna pop this all into the teleprompter. I can go and hit the record button right here in the upper right, or I can go to the record tab and I will choose from current slide. Here I am in teleprompter view. The slide is on the bottom and my notes are at the top. I could scroll these manually this has already existed. You can make the text bigger or smaller. I'm gonna also first scroll this down to give myself a little more room. That's a newer capability. The things with video and audio you can also set, but the biggest improvement is the teleprompter speed. So I will click this button right here, and this is gonna have the scroll speed button. So what I can do now is hit play, and what you're gonna see is the teleprompter slowly start to go. So here's the default speed. Here is the typical flow of a learning accelerator practice assignment. First, a teacher, now that's going a little too fast. Maybe I want to slow that down a little bit. I can scroll here. Next, students complete the assignment in Teams for Education. Once they complete the assignment, they will get the opportunity, etc. I can make it go really fast if I'm a really fast talker, like I am sometimes, or I can make it go really slow. You have the choice. Now, the other nice thing is there are keyboard shortcuts. So I can do control space to pause it like that and let it go. I can do control right arrow to make the speed faster. I can do control left arrow to slow the speed down. So I'm control left arrow and right arrow. And if I wanted to actually record, I would click the recording and I would practice doing my entire recording of the slide with the teleprompter going at the same time. The second new feature is a much easier exposure to teams and groups in the file save as menu. I'll go here into the file menu and I'm gonna click save a copy. On the left, you're gonna see quick access, and these are all of my different teams. We've moved this up and made it front and center to make it really easy to save files into teams and groups if you need to. Just to show an example, here are all the different teams that I'm part of. And I'll go back into PowerPoint. Now, if I wanna save directly into one of these teams, I just click on the team, and it's gonna bring up shared documents automatically, and it makes it really easy to save those files directly into that team group. The third new feature is improvement to the accessibility ribbon tab in PowerPoint. I'll go to the review tab here, and I'm gonna click on check accessibility. There've been a couple of improvements. The first new update is the inspect without color button. This makes it really easy to see how your slide will look if there's not color, maybe someone who's colorblind. I'll click inspect without color. Hey, it's still pretty easy to read. Click it again, and the color comes back. The second improvement is the mark as decorative button. I'll click on this slide and there's a little Microsoft logo here. This is not really important to the slide, so I'm gonna mark this as decorative. Right here it has missing object description. So what I wanna do is click on this and then I'm gonna go, I say mark as decorative. And that makes this little accessibility tick go away and that's marked as decorative. The fourth new feature is improved drawing tools in PowerPoint for the web. So I've got a slide here, I'm gonna go to the draw tab First off, you're gonna see there is a ruler now. I will click on ruler, and now I can go and draw whatever I want. Maybe I'll go red. I can draw with my ruler right there really easily. Another improvement is undo, redo on the ribbon. So right here on the draw ribbon, if I do undo, I can undo that little line I draw, or I can redo it, so bring it back and forth. In this case, I'll turn that ruler off. And the last update to the drawing improvements is the laser pointer. Now in the web, I can show that if I go to slideshow and then I choose from beginning. Down at the bottom, there's a little pen. If I click here, there's now a laser pointer option. I'll click this. Now, whenever I move my mouse, you see a little laser pointer on the screen. If I click and start drawing, it'll draw a temporary laser pointer. Now, if I let go, this will just disappear in a few seconds like that. So it's very easy to do things or underline or whatever you want to do. The fifth new feature is the ability to easily add videos from your device into PowerPoint for the web slides. I'm on the insert tab right here and I will choose video and choose this device. I'll pick a video right here, Bing chat demo and click open. It's inserting it. Now this is inserted on the page. I can click and drag it around. I can make it a little bit bigger then I can hit play and my video will start playing just like it would in PowerPoint desktop. Really easy to add those videos from your device now. The sixth new feature lets you add bullets with keyboard really easily in PowerPoint for the web. 
So to show one example of a bullet, I'm just going to do shift and eight to make an asterisk and then spacebar and then just type out here is my bullet. Hit enter and you can add more. You can add other types of bullets by doing similar keyboard strokes. Here are some other options. A double dash and then space gives me a little square for that type of bullet. If I want to do a shift right arrow, then space, that turns it into one of those really nice arrows. Shift greater than or equals on both and hit space makes a nice little diamond. Similarly, I can do A period space and it makes it official into letters and I get a B. And I can do things like I period and it makes it official for Roman numerals. The seventh new feature are create templates in PowerPoint iPad. So on the left, I'm going to click plus and there's all of these nice new templates. Bunch of new ones you can explore all the way down. I'm going to scroll back up here and I'm feeling a little bit psychedelic. So let's choose psychedelic vibrant. Look at that. That is just beautiful. The eighth new feature is format painter in PowerPoint iPad. So I'm going to select this title here, Format Painter in PowerPoint for iPad. And now in the top ribbon, I'm going to go click that paintbrush and it's selected. Now I'm going to select the three bullet points of text below. So now Comic Sans can be more easily applied everywhere. The little menu pops up, click the right arrow and then paste format. Look at that Comic Sans is applied. That is looking good. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.